Then we're gonna go to the lines here for a second. We have Charles from Fredericton. Hello, Charles. Bonjour, bonsoir. That, name, that voice sounds familiar. <laughs> no, that ridiculous. I, I can't get rid of this accent. You got a neck hole in in the back. Just want to let you know. Anyway, the um, it, it, politics is very interesting here in New Brunswick. I never seen anything like it in my life. But well, after what happened with the health care cut, what? I mean, it's nice to see New Brunswickers rally together, and you know we're not going to do this, blah blah blah. And Higgs, okay, I was, I was, I was shocked that he backed off. I thought he was just going to go ahead. And but really, what really amazed me is Mr. Vickers. I couldn't believe his attitude toward this issue. I mean, it was no, it's a much like Chris said. By the way, I'm not a member of the People Alliance Party, just for, just for the record. Uh, the way that uh, Kevin Vickers' uh, attitude toward, you know, like his face and eliminate, I mean, these are not officers, these are MLAs. You have to work together. And Mr. Vickers, uh, you know, I mean, he's shown that. Uh, I don't know how liberals can go with the, if this budget is defeated and uh, go toward the next election to say elect our leader. He has no experience. And Chris Austin and David Cohn have shown the, all the revolving door, red and blue, red and blue, red and blue. Come on. I mean, uh, Jenica uh, Edwin, the MP of Ferguson, I mean, she's doing a wonderful job. So it's time for people to realize, never mind, especially my Acadian sisters and brothers from the North Shore, my great-great-grandfather voted liberal. I'm going to vote liberal also. They have to get their head out of the sand and say, hey, enough is enough here. Good point. And, uh, you know, I've used the example before. You know, I was raised in a home um, where my... My dad was a strong PC, part of the PC association, so I, I had the conservative roots. And then my stepfather, his family came from very strong liberal backgrounds. So I, I understood both sides of, of the equation. But what I can tell you is all of them uh, are very much open to, to different views. And, and they've supported me in what I've done as, as a new party. Because I think they, along with a lot of other New Brunswick, like Charles, is realizing that you know, there's this red and blue game back and forth. Uh, it's it's not working for New Brunswickers, and we need you know some different voices in there, different perspectives, and again to have those checks and balances. So I, I think Charles, you, you you nailed it, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, the day that me and Chris Austin would agree on something, I mean, uh, we got to mark that date. But that yeah, of course, no, no. But I mean, it, you're doing you got to echo again. Uh, you're doing very very good. And uh, <coughs> it, it, it just continue to do what you're doing. And Higgs, when he was the leader of the um, oh, uh, uh, opposition, I remember he told Brian Gallant, invite me over. I'm the former finance minister. Invite me in the office so we could discuss the issue, the financial situation of the, the province. And you, you had some dealing with Mr. Higgs. And he's not, uh, okay, the stuff about the Irvings and all that, but he's an approachable guy that you, he likes to talk. Let's talk about the issue. Let's find a solution. And what Kevin Vickers did this week, I hope New Brunswickers, and in, the New Brunswickers, the Acadian, is like, yeah, see to this guy, because this guy goes in power. Oh, my God, we're in trouble. Okay, you guys have a good night. Thank you very much, Charles, for calling in. Good point. All right. Um, now, there are some that say the current distribution of hospitals with emergency services in the 